culture activist. We call it a clicktivist in English. Uh, it means somebody thinks they're an activist, but all they do is click like. You know, maybe not that effective. Um, yeah, so this is a common, uh, you know, dismissal of people on the internet and this idea that movements can happen on the internet. And of course, uh, it, it's always true. Um, you know, if we think about, you know, for me, I grew up in uh, in Alabama, uh, deep in the south in the U.S. And of course, uh, it's an area that before I was born, most of this was gone by the time I was born. But before I was born, there were laws um, banning uh, black people from. They had to sit in a different side of the restaurant. It was very like apartheid. And even then, what happened is a handful of people, very courageous people, uh, at universities, uh, predominantly black universities, uh, these young people would sit up all night talking and, and uh, with great passion, and they would get up the courage, and they would go, and they would sit at a lunch counter, a whites-only lunch counter, and they would refuse to leave unless they were served, and they would be arrested uh, for this and they would have peaceful protests of this kind. And I've seen the argument made about this specific example that the internet will never lead to this, that people sit around on their computers and they never quite do anything. I don't see the evidence of that. What I see is that people on the internet, of course we have a few brave people who say, yes, actually we need to do something. We have a few organized people and energetic people who say, actually somebody needs to stand for office, somebody needs to organize a movement to call Congress, the things that just happen. And we've had some real successes in our community. So we, uh, quite famously, the U.S. was preparing to pass a really, really bad uh, internet law called SOPA PIPA. The worst element and the worst form of the bill, it would have set up a, a system whereby overseas websites um, could be blocked if they were claimed to be violating copyrights with no judicial hearing. You couldn't do this within the U.S. because of the First Amendment, and so they, they couldn't do it to, to domestic websites, but overseas websites that could do it. And But with no hearing, it's completely not in the spirit of the First Amendment. It's, it's, it's bad. And at the time, the media was portraying this as primarily being a kind of an industrial dispute between uh, Hollywood and San Francisco. You know, the movie industry versus the tech industry. Google versus Disney, that kind of thing. But what we made clear is actually we're, in a way, the voice of the people of the internet, and this law was going to affect our work. And so our community held a vote, and we voted to go on strike for one day. Uh, so for that day, English Wikipedia was completely black. Um, it was an enormous news story that kind of happened because everybody needs Wikipedia. Uh, and what happened was really interesting. Um, one of the senators said that 10 million people, uh, 10 million voters, contacted Congress that day. Uh, we made it easy for them. We, we gave you a little tool to find the phone number for your to call on the phone. The House of Representatives phone system crashed. Uh, it was unprecedented. There had never been such an outpouring uh, digitally uh, before. So yes, we didn't have 10 million people go and march and stand in Washington, but they made their voice known. And of course, what happened? Uh, Congress backed down immediately. They dropped it. They've come nowhere, nowhere near it since because they're terrified. You know, don't make Wikipedia mad. That's not a good idea. And I think if we translate this into other contexts, of course we're going to see lots of people just hitting like and they're not really doing very much. But we have the possibility to have some people who have enormous impact um, empowered by the strength of their community. And I think this is uh, something that's still developing uh, in, in the world and we'll see a lot more of it in the future.